Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ala ba'd Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah believe that faith or Iman it fluctuates in Islam that sometimes a person their faith can be high and sometimes their faith can be low and their faith increases, Iman increases by doing deeds of righteousness and doing good deeds and by doing sinful acts and sinful deeds this is what decreases a person's faith and this is what the evidence shows us from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and the Ijma of the Salaf meaning the consensus of the Salaf Asari of the pious predecessors Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in Starting with the Sahaba And the Tabi'in with the Ba'a Tabi'in So they all believe that faith it increases And it decreases And what gives us evidence from the Quran Is a statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says وَيَزْدَدَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِيمَانًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that those who believe their faith will increase. And in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَزِيدُ اللَّهَ الَّذِينَ أَهْتَدُوا هُدًا That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases those people who are guided in guidance. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from both of those ayats, we see that huda, or guidance, and iman, faith, that it increases. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that He increases this. And it will be increased for the believers. So that when we do good deeds, our faith goes up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions, فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَزَادَتْهُمْ Imanan wahum yastabshirun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and as for those who believe, then their faith has been uh, increased, and they are the ones who receive the glad tidings. So this affirms for us the belief or ittiqad ittiqad of Ahl Sunnah that faith it increases and it decreases and this differs with those groups and individuals who claim that faith is the same or that Iman does not fluctuate for example you have the Murjia sect which is an old sect that believed in, in general, this is a, a, a general summation of what they believed, is that they believed that faith was either fully present and constant, or it was not present at all. Meaning that a person is either a believer or a disbeliever. And this is in regard to any sins. So they didn't believe that you could do anything that would take you out of the fold of Islam, as long as you said that you were a believer then faith to them was only in the heart. So that's why you say pe- you see people in this time who are affected by this uh, this aqidah or this belief and where they say, hey, you don't know my heart. It's all in my heart. So they verify that faith is in their heart, but they stop there. So that means for them, you can say anything, you can do anything, and you will never leave the fold of Islam unless your heart has supposedly uh, left Iman in totality. And this is incorrect, as we know that some sins take a person out of the fold of Islam. So a person who doesn't mention the Shahadatain, for example, the testimony of faith, bearing witness that there is one God worthy of worship, and that he uh, 
that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and that the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ was the last prophet and messenger. So someone who doesn't utter the testimony of faith, and but yet they claim to believe in their heart, this is not sufficient. Or the person who does no deeds, he says, hey, I'm a believer. But he never, he doesn't pray, he doesn't fast, he doesn't pay the zakat, all those other duties which are obligations in Islam, then this individual is not a believer in Islam. It's not sufficient just to say that you have faith in your heart. And that's the point that we're trying to mention here. Along with this, you have another group with regards to faith in Iman, which was the Khawarij sect, which they also believed that faith was either complete or non-existent. And for them, that the person who does the major sins was in fact a disbeliever. So for example, the person who was disobedient to their parents. Then to the Khawarij, someone who holds this uh, belief, then that person is a disbeliever. Or the person who drinks wine or alcohol. To the Khawarij, this person is a disbeliever. Because they believe that faith is either completely present or it's non-existent. And this differs with the faith of Ahl Sunnah or the creed of Ahl Sunnah, which believes that Iman or faith, it increases and it decreases. That sometimes our faith is stronger than other times. And by doing righteous deeds, we increase our iman. And when we do sinful deeds, this decreases our, our, our iman, our faith. Whereas the Khawarij believe that the person who does these major sins, that they have left the fold of Islam, they're no longer a believer. And this is an incredibly dangerous uh, belief and why it is worth mentioning and worth emphasizing the proper understanding of the Iman or faith in Islam. And this is why the Salaf al they wrote many books in regards to Iman, Kitab al-Iman, by Abi Ubaid al-Qasim ibn Salam, and many, many others from the Salaf, Ibn Mundu, uh, many of the early scholars that they wrote about this very important subject in order to affirm the creed of Ahl Sunnah and contradict and refute the various creeds of the various sects that had arisen uh, after the death of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and during the time of the Sahaba and after the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us with amnati, rizq al-tayyibu, wa amnun muttaqabbilin, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.